absolute supernatural darkness falls on man sometimes when he draws near to God. An hour comes when fail all nature's needs forced out from the protecting ignorance and flung back on his naked primal need. He at length must cast from him his surface soul and be the unloved entity within. That hour has fallen now.
all in her, point it to a nobler time. Near to earth's wideness, intimate to his heaven, exalted and swift, her young love-visioned spirit, voyaging through worlds of splendor and of calm, overflow the ways of thought to unborn sea. Ardent was her self-pointed unstumbling will her mind, a sea of white sincerity, passionate in flow, had not one perfect way. Descended 
from its unattainable reach. In her attracting advanced luminous weight, the white far dragon bird of endless bliss drifting with burning wings above her day, heaven's tranquil field guarded the mission child. Whether to bear with ignorance and death, or choose the way of immortality to win or lose the godlike game for man was her soul's issue thrown with destiny's dice but not to submit and suffer was she born to lead, to deliver, was her glorious path. An image fluttering on the screen of fate, half animated for a passing show, all cast away on the ocean of desire, flung to the edges in a rustless sport, and tossed along the gulf of circle. A creature born to bend beneath the yoke, a chattel and a plaything of time's lord, or oh, one more pawn who comes destined to be pushed one slow move forward on a measureless board in the chest play of the earth's soul with doom. Such is the human figure drawn by time. A conscious frame was here, a self-born force. Across each road stands on a stone-eyed law. At every gate, the huge dim sentinel space. A great tribunal of the ignorance, an inquisition of the priests of night, in judgment sit on the adventurer's soul, and the dual table 
Thank you. 